Clap. So my name is Thomas Detour Evans and this is the Five Pointers Museum uh, brought to you by Red Bull and myself, Detour. So the Five Pointers Museum is a museum in the year 2120. I decided to venture out uh, for my last show and sort of work on a body of work that sort of is a sort of a capstone of everything I've just been sort of learning in the past couple of years, but also what I also wanted to do in the future. So everything from fabrication to sculpture work to instrument making to storytelling. So the Five Pointed Museum is basically a museum dedicated to a band in the future, a band that I created uh, that is based out of Denver, Colorado, the Five Points uh, neighborhood. It sort of tells a story about what's happening in the future through the, I guess, the idea of music and sort of what's happening in the world. So when people enter into the museum, I want them to be greeted with artwork that is sort of artifacts as well, that sort of feels futuristic but also vintage. And it just tells the story, like I said, about the individuals but also a social issue that is happening in the future. And I made it 100 years from now, so it's not too close and it's not too far away to where it feels sort of out of reach because, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot more tangible when you can actually imagine that uh, what a bike would look like or what a turntable would look like. And you're learning about not only each individual member, but you're also learning about how they get together, how they sort of rose to be the world's band, how they became sort of the talk of the town, and then how they sort of uh, fell off, uh, disbanded, and sort of came back together as a band to sort of rock the, rock the world. And as you're learning about that, you're also learning about what's happening in the future, 100 years from now. You know, everything from economic issues to environmental issues to politics to, you know, what does music sound like in the future? So this band is actually a real band too. So I created the band from uh, individuals that I know. So at the end of the show, during performance nights, we had the band actually come and perform music. Uh, they created an entire album, about 40 minutes worth of music that they performed uh, after everyone was sort of uh, able to walk around and absorb the story. So after everyone was able to read all the items in the museum and explore the museum, they were sort of uh, greeted with the actual band playing music. And it became more of a visceral moment to where now when you walk through the door into this space, it actually feels like a museum and actually feels like a real band. So for me, this space is really uh, sort of like you're walking into a comic book.